This is the Podcraft Beer Show, episode 13 for October 12th. Today we'll celebrate Oktoberfest with six different beers. This is the Pod Craft Beer Show, where we talk about craft beer from Southern California and beyond. I'm your host, Chris. Here's your other host, Charlie. Yep. We got tech guy, Steve. Hello. Steve. So today we're going to celebrate Oktoberfest, Charlie. We've already started, I believe. We have. Some bratwurst, some uh, some German potato salad. Phenomenal. Red cabbage. A little red cabbage. As Sauerkraut. Well. Sauerkraut. Yes. It's great. So now it's uh, the moment we've all been waiting for. You brought some... Uh, Various fest beers. Let's get into them. Let's get moving. What do you got first? Andergren Oktoberfest. Bavarian style Marzen. The color is amazing. It's a nice amber. It huh? is super cool. Smells fantastic. I'm going to start drinking before everybody gets theirs. There you go. So this is Andergren uh, up in LA, right? I believe. I'm sure you know where it's at. I don't. I think they're... Um, That's one place I haven't been to yet, unfortunately, for me and them. Yeah, I think they're just on the north side of L.A. Oh, good um, spot. Let's see. What do you think of that? Mars and... Oh, man. That's refreshing. Yeah, they make phenomenal beers. I'm happy with that. Good call, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> so, they're in Moore Park. Uh, it's a microbrew in Moore Park. The color is like an amber copper color right now. It is. So a little bit about a uh, German inspired uh, lager focused German style craft brewery and beer hall in Moore Park. Good enough for me. But yeah, no, that's a great color. They should ship me beer. That, that would be a plus. The can's got that good blue and yellow yeah, sort of checkerboard. A festive look. Yeah. Super festive. I don't know what they call that in, uh, Germany, but it's got to have something to do with that. Uh, that section of Germany where the beer comes well, from. Well, that style and that, you know, right color pattern and whatever. It could be barbarian. One of these days, pattern. yeah. Extremely barbarian. <laughs> I like my neighbors. <laughs> That's a really good beer. Yeah, it is. Do you think I, wait, do you think I was going to buy a bunch of crappy stuff and bring it over for you? <laughs> Stuff your face full of food and say, okay, here's some average beer. I mean, nice and malty and sweet, but it's not delicious. not super malty, not not super sweet. Can't go wrong with a Marzen, personal it's a, opinion. It's a lot lighter than most Marzens I've had. Really? They, they, they tend to be a little bit darker. Can you name more, six? Well, <laughs> the one I think about is the one from the brewery that closed in Mission Valley. What was that? The one from San Jose. Um, a Carl Strauss. Yeah, Carl no, no, not Carl Strauss. Strauss. Um, what was it? It's the... Oh, oh, oh. No, no not oh. Strauss. It was... Um, uh, Gordon Beers. Yeah, Gordon, Gordon Beers. Beers. Yeah, yeah no, the, you know what? They did have a good Marzen. Right. But it was a darker, more really? flavorful was good though, yeah, huh? beer. Yeah. We had it at our wedding. <laughs> yeah, it was a really good beer. <laughs> mm. The uh, the garlic fries over there, phenomenal. Now it's a Puesto. The yeah. Puesto Brewery. Which isn't bad either. Green I'll tacos. Go, I'll go Puesto anytime. Now we're jumping off. We're going to go with the little Humble Sea Taste of Goot. Taste Goot. Um... Hey, so uh, real quick before we uh, before we get going too far, I just want to let everybody know that uh, to connect with the show uh, and to get you all the show notes with links to everything we mentioned on the show, they can go to www.thepodcraft.com. What were the first three letters again? W. 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 Okay. Yeah, we're going to be saying that forever, even though you don't need to do that. You don't need to, yeah, huh? Uh-huh. It's just, it's just thepodcraft.com. The thepodcraft.com. Oh, there it is. Man. Moving forward, that's what it'll... Uh, Good golly. Double. Ah, it's too small letting, even with my glasses you on. Got, what are you looking at? Uh, double decocted Oktoberfest lager. <sighs> it looks darker than the last one. Yeah. It's got that great blue coloring. Uh. Mm. Yeah, what's the deal with all the beers having... Uh, and is that a cactus in a, in a later hosen on the front? <laughs> is that what he's wearing? <laughs> yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> so Humble Sea, right up there, uh, Santa Cruz, uh, probably one of my favorite breweries as of uh, take a little trip as of recently. I think they uh, a lot of a lot of their hazy IPAs are just phenomenal. Foggy, foggy. Isn't that weird? How everybody's got a different name for the hazies. Yeah. Um, today, Murky, I, fuzzy, foggy, hazy. They did a um, uh, a little package, a little box today that had. Uh, they make these um, uh, sugar or something pops, super pops. I think is what their kettle sour is. Mm-hmm. So that was gonna you were gonna get a four pack of their kettle sour, um, a four pack of a double IPA, four pack of a triple, and then a bottle of stout that that they're gonna release. All these beers are upcoming over the next month. And they put fifty of them online. They sold out in like less than a minute. That's scary. And so and I didn't uh, bunch of bots. No, um, yep, that's it. That's it. We need some. We need Steve, somebody. can you make us a bot? Sweet. What do you know about bots, Steve? <laughs> I know a little bit about bots, and buying bots is not a good business to be in. No, you yeah. can't buy them. <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> can't imagine what could go wrong. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's... um Good beer. I'm a fan of Humble Sea, too. Yeah, I think if you search, actually, on like those shoes, the really expensive shoes, I think there was like, a bot story where somebody bought, like, was, like, hundreds of thousands of dollars yeah. purchased. They bought for... A, yeah, oh, by a ax- by a, yeah, the bot by accident. Yeah. I guess if the demand's that high, maybe you could sell them on the aftermarket. It's crazy. I mean, it's, there's got it. It's, it's so ridiculous. Like two years ago, getting a beer locally, you know, on, on a lot of these websites was really wasn't that difficult. I mean, it was, it was difficult, but it wasn't like it is. I mean, I strike out nonstop. It's mind blowing. I your- strike out on breweries that I have memberships to. Can't even get really? those beers. Wow. Yeah. You're out of the loop, I think. Out of the loop. Not I, dialed in. I was able to get all the ones I wanted. Uh-huh. Right down there at uh, Valley Farms. <laughs> hey, there you go. <laughs> there's no, there's no line, no bots either. There. That's a really good lager. It's so good. I'm going to drink it, all of it. So, do you guys have any good beers this week? Any, uh, anything besides these? You know what? That's it. I took pictures of mine. Did you? So I want to tell you exactly what I had. I take pictures of all mine, but I popped that. Um, North uh, four fifty north. Yeah, four fifty north. Uh, um, uh, blueberry pancakes. Was that pretty good? Oh, so good! It's yeah. amazing what those guys can do with it. You just smell the can, and you could. It's like, whoa! How would they put pancakes inside this? <laughs> yeah, they'll can. do like peach cobbler, or just the craziest stuff. The one with chunks in it really didn't do me any good. I yeah, mean, it was. It was almost like pie crust in my beer. You know, it's different, but you know, everybody's got their own thing. Anyways. I had the Hella Juice Bag from Humble Sea. Uh, I had Cellar Maker, what is it? Dimension Medium Transition, which was awesome. And then uh, Santa Cruz County Strong was another uh, Humble Sea. And I drank, I a buddy of mine swung by and we had some, a 32 ounce, ounce can of uh, The Answer. Which was a uh, passion fruit mango honey lemonade. Ooh. <laughs> Super dangerous. But yeah, that was uh that was a good one. It was a yeah. real good one. I celebrated Oktoberfest a little earlier this week. I went out to Burning Beard and uh, had their Where Vultures Fair and Where Eagles Dare. Where Eagles Where Vultures Dare and Eagles Fair, I think. Eagles Dare. Yeah. They were phenomenal couple of uh, and then then i had a bratwurst pizza as well wow. which is amazing sounds good a little mustard on top of your pizza some bratwurst sliced up a little uh it's good i also had the pastry wave and you and i shared that that was really good and i'm waiting on a delivery from them from that was Walmart. a uh yeah that was a phenomenal stout that was delicious but that's uh, i think that's it on my oh I pre-jumped the gun here and had one of these air, one of these other beers that we're going to be having here. So I've been there, been there and done that. Is that a good one? Which one was that? <laughs> this this one? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's super good. Yeah, it's really, really. I, I had one of these earlier this week and was was thinking how how great it was. 
I've, just, I've been drinking a lot of fest beers. Super, uh, super light. Because and- they're available. Yeah. It's ridiculous. When they're available, you got to buy them or else they're gone. Yeah. They're only around for a couple of months and that's it. I mean, early, early October, <clears throat> early October till like early November and then they're done. So that's good. That is a really good beer. Yeah. They're, uh, I usually don't like, um, like the whole, the, the whole malty piece, right? You know, the rest of the year I, I try to drink like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's because I don't drink them all year. I'm like, oh man, that's really, really good. Okay, we're going to jump onto another one here real quick. We have a German style lager, and this is from Epic Brewing, and it's a Feist beer, Natural Bridge Lager Series, it says on there, which I don't know what that means, but I'm willing to try. So Epic, another local uh, local brewery, uh, women-owned brewery here in town. I think they um, they originally started in that... that uh, the brewery igniter right over there across from uh there's the three breweries i think it was right Oakland boulevard yep yeah right over there uh and then they moved out to the waterfront hmm. um and then they just i think 4s ranch or somewhere up there they they opened up a brewery or somewhere vista maybe fancy for us um ranch. i don't know if it's 4s ranch i could just be making that up but it's somewhere up up north sounded good now they're moving back into north park good to for that them. Uh, that wayward public yeah i think they're that place closed down over over labor day so they're going to just do a pop-up brewery in there. I like or it. Like a pop-up uh, tasting room. Good deal. There. Smart move on their part. There's a lot of traffic down there. Quite a bit of traffic brings them back to uh, the neighborhood they were yeah. they started in. And then... Um, Why? That's shocking. They went that far away and then now they're back. Well, so As I think Forest it's... Forest Ranch is like 20 minutes up the freeway. So I'm I'm not certain that it's... Uh, I'm going to actually look where it's at, but... I know. I'm just using that area. Not yeah. So they're they're... They're right on the water. They're right downtown is where they moved um, to like Point Loma. That's out would be some major cash. I can't imagine front. what that, uh, w- yeah, what what it, can't imagine what they pay for that. Okay, I'm sipping on this. Quit talking to me. Yeah, I guess there are other ones in Vista. Um, it's even further than Forest Ranch. It is. It's Bressy Ranch, kind of Bressy Ranch, Lake oh. San Marcos area, looks like. Um but they have a, a beer hall up there, I guess. And now they're going to go over to go into Waypoint. So, um, that, uh, the, the building that they're taking, the restaurant closed down. Um, so until the, until the owner of the building sells the building, they're going to open a tasting room in there. And then once the guy sells the building, it'll close down. So it could be, you know, it might not open, um, if the guy sells it really quick or it could be, uh, in the spring. This is good beer. I like how they spell their name. The epic, yeah, E P P I G. That's, I think it's this is really cool. Is that like because there's another brewery? It's called s- similar to that, right? I'm not certain what you're. Uh, that there was epic and epic, epic, epic. There's two of them, right? Epic and epic. I'm not certain. Pretty sure. Been to a lot of breweries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're um uh so Epic is uh is the co founder's last name. Okay. The Epic family brewing roots uh date back to eighteen sixty six in Brooklyn. The team has resurrected the Epic family business hundred and fifty years later and they're now brewing in San well, Diego. It's about time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I Wait like a long time. Yeah, it tastes good. They've been holding on to this for too long. They should release it. Wow, that is a really, really good beer. I'm gonna have to go uh my scooter's going to go down to the waterfront beer garden, mm. America Cup Harbor. Hex Angel, riding That's your riding your Harley. It's a heck of a heck Harley of a ride scooter down with there. a sissy bar. That's right, extended fork. <laughs> the old the old Vespa. A pair of big old giant sunglasses, bigger than you. <laughs> hundred like hundred miles to the gallon on that thing. You gotta love it. I'm a huge fan. It burns rubber too, doesn't it? No, it doesn't really. If you, if you drag your tinnies on the full ground, it does exactly. <laughs> I've I've actually uh, the only like the only thing it's actually burned is is holes straight through every pair of flip flops I yeah. have. You know, <laughs> they wear down quickly, <laughs> like toes sticking through. You need so. steel toe flip flops. I do need steel toe steel you bottom flip flops. Don't worry about it. Something. So, what do you think, Steve? I liked it a lot. And it's he, my favorite of the. He, he drank it already. It's the favorite of the three. I, I think that cut was. Him off. I think that was my favorite as well. 
so far. Really yeah. clean. I could crisp. go. I could go buy a lot of that. Yeah, I could definitely. Uh, um, I could go check that spot out for sure. Okay, well, man, don't get yourselves in a bundle here because we're drinking another beer. And those three, all from uh, California, I guess two Southern California and and one uh, more more up the coast. Be a little cheaper to, to hit those breweries than any one of these next three. Yeah. These ones are German beers. So, uh, we have a, gosh, I wish Gene was here. These are ones that Gene from Bottlecraft picked out for me because I told him we were doing the Oktoberfest, uh, series and, uh, whether or not he was, uh, going to be able to make it. But, uh, anyways, he said these are good. He could pronounce all these names. Um, the only thing I can read here that, World's oldest brewery, and it's um, a Hef Weiss beer, so a premium uh, Bavarian style beer. Yeah, there you go, Steve or Chris. You got to get your label shooter there and tell us exactly Say, what you uh, got. Uh, so this is, yeah, it's just it's their Hef. Uh, so they're, they're golden yellow wheat beer with its fine poured white foam. Uh, mm. It smells of clover. It is white foam. I, I, I'm not certain how you say that. Wine Heisterfanner. Well, the, the, keep, uh, Ameri- keep, keep it coming. Keep yeah, it coming. The German, the German word for, um, the beer, beer purification is, uh, the Rhein Heizgebot. And that doesn't say Rhein Heizgebot. It says Rhein Heiz. The Arner, <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> Definitely not German. If it was Irish, I could pick it <laughs> out. But <laughs> I could call the warden over here. She knows how to speak German. <laughs> but well, uh, either which way, I'm, I'm excited to uh, hurry and drink that last beer. You're holding up. You're holding up traffic here. Holding up the process. Yeah, Steve's over there just drooling to get a beverage. Steve's a big fan of uh, German beers, I believe. He should be. Belgian beers. Yeah. It's funny that they, they're they calling themselves the old, world's oldest <clears throat> uh, brewery, because I'm sure there's a there's one in Belgium that probably thinks that they're the world's oldest. But the, it, would, it doesn't have a date on there yeah, or anything. It's kind of funny. But I think they, they usually have this at the El Cajon Oktoberfest. They have such good beers at, at the El Cajon Oktoberfest. Usually really good, if they're cold. You know, a lot of times you go well, over there. Well, it's put on by the German American Society of Elk Yeah, they don't mess. So. Yeah, those guys. Uh, it's actually been the best Oktoberfest that there is. It's more, much more traditional than the La Mesa one, which is right. massive, by the way. But it's kind of like a craft show rather than a beer festival. It as used far to be San Diego beer. Yeah, Oktoberfest. used to be you could get. Uh, they had. Um, Dunkel and Dunkel Anchor or Anchor Dunkel or whatever it was, it was it was there it was an actual German beer that they imported, and then they switched to Lowenbrau, and I was like, "What in the heck?" This is La Mesa, yeah, right. And, and then now it's whoever a couple of years ago they had Bud Light, yeah, and that was their beer. I'm like, "You're kidding me!" Oh, but we have cider now too, so yeah. And then people were mixing the beer with the cider, which was really weird. Yeah, but, hey, you know. Do whatever you want. I poured beer over there one time. I think it was Carl Strauss. Oh, was it Strauss? Yeah, we. Uh, I, I, I think been, we poured it. I must have been out of that lineup. So. No, you were. I think me and you poured it. it well, was like, I was probably drinking more than I was pouring. It was like Tower Ten. We they didn't let us have any. At the end, they gave us one ten. beer. <laughs> it wasn't their October four Fest hours. Beer? No, they had their Oktoberfest. They had Tower Ten, and then what else would they have had? Pintail, maybe. I think they had three beers. Right. We probably had their October, and then we went to Hoffers. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was. It was worth the effort going there. There's sure. some legitimate beverage on tap. Okay, this is real. This is real German beer. You can smell the German beer. It's got just so you a, can it. It's it got definitely a tastes real clover. Different smell to it. It's mm-hmm. delicious, but well, that's really good. I'm not a half. I'm not a half fan. Um, you know, I'm, I'm gluten free. But it's so, so the smooth. amount of wheat in there just doesn't doesn't do it for me. You, your wheat <laughs> is what? I'm gluten free. Yeah, you know? I know you are. So I, I try to that I wheat could, beer. I could see that in your eyes. Yeah, your glutes. You have no glutens. <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> Can't buy a pair of pants to fit him. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you What do you got over there, Steve? What do you know? Yeah, I just 
I was just Try looking. I was trying to find something if there was something interesting on the bottle, but there is. Either There's too, something interesting in the bottle. Yeah, in the bottle, but outside it was. The, I was kind of hoping for something about their history of their brewery or something. Hey, they tell you right on there that it's the oldest brewery. Brewery. So what do you you know what are you going to do? Call them a liar. There's a uh, uh, quite a few old breweries in in Belgium, huh? See, do you uh, do you ever get a chance to swing in any? We we went to, we didn't actually get into any breweries. That was what you, yeah. you you went to Belgium. You didn't go to a brewery. We didn't get into any breweries. What we were, were they there. closed that day? No, it was just uh, it, young kids and the hey, the traffic. They let goes. kids in breweries. I know they did, but it just wasn't one of those yeah, things. That's that we my were doing. kids. I mean, I drank a lot of great Belgian beers. Yeah, like every time I went to the store. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, there like you go. three or four. At least get that. <laughs> right. That's good though. Um, Better than nothing. Yeah, I would love to go to Belgium. I, I actually had a coworker who um who was in Brussels and and um he was supposed to bring us some beer to the to to his to his last meeting. We because we always did these beer shares at, at this meeting, uh, at this meeting that we have, our worldwide meeting. So he's like, Hey, next year, you know, you tell me what you guys want. So we had asked him to bring uh we had asked him to grab a couple of beers and literally the guy's at the airport and he got uh he got um told that he wasn't coming to the meeting. They invited him to um, to find a new job and come back as a customer. I think. <laughs> okay, so that didn't work out. So that was as close as I came to a Belgian connection. I would have just showed up on the <clears throat> doorstep. Hey, remember that beer you're talking about? <laughs> okay, we're running on. Are you done with that? Yep. That's you. really good. It really tastes like clover. I think in that. I don't know, man. It was just it's it's been so so long. If that was a Hefeweizen, that's it's been so long since I had one. Yeah. I didn't know what to think. I didn't know what to think. It was just one of those. I mean, it's a different taste, anyways, so with the hefts. But uh, I'm getting real full real quick. Good thing we only have two more beers to open here. <laughs> We're on our Good way. Good news to the is you got another half here. So this is going to be a uh, um, Endesher Vice Beer Hell. Is that how you say that? Hell. Is that what, how do you say that, Charlie? That is a Vice Beer Hell. Okay, so it's an untreated and bottle of uh, bottle of natural for crying out loud. Uh, state of yeasty turbidity. Uh, this is a top fermented beer from a after the epic year. It says uh, take that there. Wow, we're drinking them fast. Yeah, another um, another half. What are you? Uh, <laughs> it's another half of Bison? It's another half. Really? Another vice beer. Yeah. Duck on Gene. So it's uh, it says um, this creamy, fine poured head invites you to uh, know this vice beer from Holy Mountain, or from the Holy Mountain. Yeah, so the, their bottle I actually says 1455. Okay, this was this is much lighter than is the last that, one. Well, they have it, that number on there, so I'm guessing that that's when they think their brewery was started. Yeah, yeah that's... <laughs> yeah. Jesus drank there, I think. Let's see. This could have this been a Martin Luther beer. Gosh, yeah. He did drink a lot of beer, old Luth. He did. He has some great uh, comments on beer. Big fan of his when he's drinking. <laughs> this is much better than the last half of Eisen. That one was really strong and heavy. This is much milder and lighter. I, yeah, I, I really like the... Um, yeah, I like that. You like the you, glutens in there? But you're not, not as much... Um, I mean, I think like I, I still taste a lot of clover in there. Is that... Is that normal for? Uh, I mean, I guess is that uh, just part They're of? They're looking at me, and I'm not the beer. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> um, I guess I'm just not a. Hence the reason for having Gene here. Yeah. Um, because I mean, he is the clover master. I think he looks a little Irish, though. He, he's clover, you know that guy's definitely. Um, he certainly uh, knows his knows his beers for yeah, sure. Yep, especially these Germans. Wow, that's um. That's really, good. Really good. It's a lot better than the other one. I can guarantee you that. I would get this over the other one every day of the week. But the next one that we have 
Yeah, I've already tasted. <clears throat> it'd be interesting to know like the differences between these breweries. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, like I think this one it's is like probably four blocks. Like a very big, <laughs> big. The first one we tried was probably like a bigger brewery that uh-huh. has lots of beer being sold, and this one seems like it's potentially more like crafty of the crafty German. Well, it's beers. like probably a neighborhood brewery, right? And I've I've never been to Germany, but I want to go. Um, a buddy of mine went there, and he said that uh, each town has its own little brewery. Yeah, it does. So be. super interesting. I would be very happy if I yeah. Was my in my uncle only drinks the beer from the local brewery. yeah from his local brewery. Because yeah. he was probably, sad when the, they used to have two, I think, and then one of them went. <laughs> yeah, the competition was <laughs> narrowed to one. But the can you imagine sitting there drinking? You know, you from the time you started drinking beer, you get to 60, 70, 80 years old, and you're like uh, you. That you know, like the last fifteen generations of your family, yeah, yeah, 14, yeah, absolutely. For five hundred years, your family's you been know, drinking that grog, and then you're old enough to drink it, and you're there drinking it for your entire life, and you just got that taste in your mind. I mean, what's something that's like in something your blood? You long to go back to at some point. You know, if you ever leave, eh, no, nah, no, nah, I'll stay here where there's other beer. No. Yeah, you know, for forever. Anytime I would go back to Minnesota, I would always bring back this small craft brewery, and uh, it's, I mean, it's still it's still around. But uh, Summit was the name of it, and this was back. Um, I mean, early two thousands, bringing back like a they make this extra pale ale, like it's Summit extra pale ale, extra uh, pale, wow, phenomenal. I mean, it's so Sounds so good. good. So I used to I used to travel back with that uh, brewery back then, but like uh, it was like by far my favorite beer. I'd only get it, you know, once once a year, maybe. But I could almost taste it, like, before that first one, you know. Like, so I could see if, I suppose, if you uh, grew up somewhere, you're like, hey, nobody makes, a, you know, a half, especially a German-style yeah, beer. Like this place, the, you know, down the road from, from me. It's, it's, I don't get a lot of, it smells uh, like a um, malty smell, but it's it's not at all. We should have invited Josh over. He's a big, uh, he's a big German guy. beer guy. He's busy, probably. Who wants nothing to do with us? That was really good. Okay, the last one, but not least. So what's up with this uh, last brewery? Um, This is the uh, Oktoberfest Marzen, and it's an authentic Bavarian festival lager from Ehringer. And Ehringer is a super popular brewery. I know that because I've drank probably probably hundred beers of theirs because they're one of my favorite German beers I've ever tasted, and you guys will taste this too, I'm sure. But it's legit. They're they are definitely. And Gene Gene said he liked this one the best too. So yeah, I figured he knew what he was talking about. But I'm a I'm a big fan of the Marzen, but this Marzen. I've had it already. It's fantastic. It's like right in the middle of those, the other Marsons we had, I think. Yeah. They, um, so it says, you know, Anger, uh, these guys put out 120,000 barrels a year. That's not bad. That's quite a bit of beer. Yeah. yeah it's a lot of beer. That's a lot of beer. It's like, to make stone gum. is like, and, uh, Stone is like 400,000 barrels. We're going to find out. Carl Strauss does like that same amount. Yeah. It's um, a lot of beer. That That's a lot of beer. They spill more beer than some of these crap people make. Yeah. It's a lot of beer. But these guys are legit. I mean, Ehringer is, I mean, I've been drinking those for 20, 30 years maybe, you know. Yeah, so so Stone, uh, three hundred and twenty-five thousand barrels. I thought it was at least three hundred, but I thought it was. Yeah, 30. that's a lot. I didn't realize they had. They 11. probably reduced it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sure it's yeah, eleven hundred employees though. Eh, a lot of that staff, <laughs> not uh, not actual brewers. They probably have ten brewers. Yeah, I don't know. I'd be willing to bet they have more than ten brewers at Stone. Yeah, for sure. They run. Yeah, I think uh, all the stores have their own their own breweries. breweries. Yeah, yeah. 
So you got, you know, three brewers at each of those places, two or three. Wow, and then their big one, you know. How many brewers do you think they have there? I don't know, two. <laughs> just once. Just Greg. Yeah. <laughs> just the, the homeless kid showing up. Did you hear that story? Story about the hmm. Koch or Co what do you pronounce his name? Coke? Koch? Greg Koch. Koch. Yeah. He showed up in a new employee called the police, thought he was a guy breaking in there. Homeless person breaking in. Because he's all bearded up and long hair. He never met the guy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. How about you call the cops on your the owner? Yeah. I'm sure he was good with it. Probably ex- most excitement he's had in a while. Well, that guy seems like a like a pretty unique character. He is a character. I'll give him that. You know, I, I mean, I, I um, I never never got to talk to the guy or, or anything. But I, I sat next to well, him. Well, he keeps calling all the time. I yeah, just, I just pay no attention to his phone calls and texts. Yeah, was that? Uh, we could uh, probably get him on here if we drank nothing but stone here. No. What do you think? I don't know. I'll put the word out. See what he wants. You know, yeah. new send your smoke tires, signals up there. A couple new bicycle tires or something. I did that one um, stone um, anniversary thing, and they had a the, the best part of that actually <clears throat> was the video with his mom. They just sat on the back porch and they were drinking some version of Arrogant Bastard, which I couldn't, I didn't see the scre- the the video quick enough to tell what it was. But it was it's when I went back and looked, it's it's a very rare bottle of Arrogant Bastard that was you know made at some point in time. And she's like, "This is my favorite beer." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And he's like, well, I can't drink very much because I have to go back to work. That's so great. <laughs> yeah, but like it was got, from years ago. Yeah. It yeah, but he like probably a, has, you know, he has access to those, yeah, I think. Yeah. They allow him to when, drink a few beers. Yeah, when his mom wants his, her favorite beer, she probably yeah. keep, she probably gets it. Maybe yeah, she contact great. his mom. I don't know. <laughs> they, you know, I, I had a lot of really good experiences at Stone. That was the first place I ever, uh, not the first place I ever had younger, but I, I certainly had had younger there numerous times. I, I bought a lot of. I used to. Eat, they used to have these um, these uh, boar ribs were on their uh, were on their uh, their appetizer menu. Wow. They were phenomenal. Actually, I went up there um, not before the COVID started with uh, my wife and I, and we went up there and had a wonderful lunch and a couple of beers. You know, I had a couple of beers. She didn't, but uh, fantastic. I'd never been there before, so it's you know. They've been open for how long and, you know, I'm head up there finally to see it and just to check it out. That's all I wanted to do. It is beautiful, beautiful place, great food, good beer. They had a couple of new beers on tap. They had a, like a Mexican lager, which was super tasty. I thought that was uh, uh, really good. And then there was another uh, IPA they had that was new. It was, it was really good also, so. And I bought a couple, so to take home. Sorry, guys, didn't tell you. <laughs> didn't put the memo out. What do you think? Is this what? Which one you I like the, it? Which one you given the the top notch? Um, so I would probably go. I think I like that first. So if if I was to break them up into into two categories, I, I would go. You know, the the Southern California, uh, and then you know the 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 German beers. I would say um, probably the Epic. Um, from uh, for, uh, the the October it was the October Fest mm-hmm. from Epic, and then I would go with the first um, half that we had from the German beers. So I guess the what was that one, Steve? Yeah, the, the one, one I, couldn't I couldn't pronounce. pronounce. Yeah, that was good though. So my top two, I'm going to go with the uh, Humble C and then the Erringer. Mm-hmm. Steve, Steve, what's what your um, I'll go with the Epic for sure. Um, that was just f- phenomenal. And then, uh, <clears throat> I think I'm with Charlie. I think that Ailinger was the best of the German beer. I think it's, it's fantastic. I mean, it just tastes, I mean, it's just so perfect almost, but no, they were great. Steve just, or uh, Chris just wanted to the be epic, different. The Epic is the only one that's empty. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that was um, that was super pacing good. ourselves. Yeah, I'm definitely uh, putting that on the hit list. You'll be seeing me soon. Actually, that uh, um, that passport that I have, I get a they got a little sample or something down there at their brewery. I think, Where? That, at Epic. Let's go. What Let's do tomorrow? it. What are we doing? What are we doing here? <laughs> so the um, guys, uh, once again, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for listening in. 
And once again, to connect to the show and to get all the show notes and, and links and anything we mentioned on the show, uh, go to uh, thepodcraft.com. Uh, the website contains links to help you uh, uh, choose the platform, uh, pod, podcast platform of your choosing, Pretty good. Uh, photos of the beers we consume, links to the breweries, uh, and other details, as well as direct email uh, address for feedback. Uh, just head to thepodcraft.com for all the links, and please consider recommending the podcraft uh, to all craft beer friends in your life. Guys, anything else? Yeah, you're going to have to mix in some, uh, you're going to have to mix in some uh, German music uh, in the background. Yeah. Hit the German yeah. music, Steve. Yeah, and also right. to let my brother know, hey, we did go more than 30 minutes because uh-huh. he likes it to be a little bit. It's just, but we could just have it a total background. Yeah. Right. Like, as, if we in, right. as if yeah, we were yeah. in, as if we were in Picture Germany. us in Lederhosen yeah. dancing around. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken dancing. A couple more of those. Chicken. I will we be will wearing be. Lederhosen. Cheers. Cheers. Craft Podcast is licensed under Creative Commons Attribution, Share Alike 4.0 International. All rights reserved 2020. The podcast is produced by AztecMedia.net. If you have questions, please email thepodcraftpodcast at gmail.com. Fair use notice. Reference material and media have been placed within this medium for information, educational, and discussion purposes only in compliance with the fair use criteria established in Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. It should also be noted that the opinions expressed on this podcast are those of the participants and are not endorsed by the participants' previous, current, or future employers or advertisers. You still here? It's over. Go home. Go.